Hey, hey, hey. So my dermatology appointment went very well. The dermatologist pretty quickly agreed with me while also talking over me because she was very bossy um, that my issue is not scabies. My microbiome is gone off ultra extra. So I am being prescribed like shampoo, body wash type things that should help balance everything. Because it seems like um, I've really been having lifelong skin issues that are getting worse because, hey, surprise, since COVID, I can't take care of myself as well. And my body is going a little wacky on things. And just the body washes and stuff that I've found so far haven't helped. Except for an antifungal ketsiconazole type thing. So I'm being prescribed that. Um, as apparently the term like fungal acne isn't really a thing, but that's technically like what I'm being diagnosed with. It's weird, but apparently like fungal acne isn't really so much a thing. It's just like acne plus your body's natural yeast overgrowing. So, fungal acne isn't really a real thing, but yet the dermatology community has taken the term because people use it already. So that's interesting. Because of everyday normal average people diagnosing themselves with fungal acne, that's the term the dermatology world is now using, even though it's technically incorrect and... Okay. Well, good to know that um, the dermatology world tries to make things easier and just says like, hey, this is the term y'all have already been using, we'll just stick with it. Makes sense. But I also appreciate that the dermatologist explained to me that fungal acne isn't really technically a thing. I have acne issues. Well, yeah, that's a bad boy. And I've got, like, some yeast overgrowth issues because I am sickly. And, um, so hopefully using the shampoos and everything, I can finally get this stuff cleared up. I've been doing a little better, I feel. But once I don't have all the, uh... It's like literally hard skin right here, all the scabby bits. Once I don't have all that stuff anymore, I can actually start wearing wigs again. And that's exciting to me because, <sighs> sorry, I've just woken up and I, <sighs> sorry, I just woke it up really and I can't uh, stop myself when I need to stretch yawn. Um, right. I'm very much gender anarchist. The reason I've been dressed more masculine and everything is really mostly just for comfort, but also because people are just like, grow your hair out, wear a dress, wear makeup. So of course I'm like, yeah, no, uh, button up shirts, shave my head, eat the makeup, I, I don't do well with authority and being bossed around. You tell me to do something, I'm very likely to not do it sort of thing. Just, yeah. Um, so it was a little bit of just needing to be comfortable and a little bit of rebellion. <laughs> <clears throat> but I am interested in... You know, wearing some fun outfits, wigs, and stuff like that. Um, more feminine looks, because, once again, gender anarchist. So, while plenty of non-binary people will still have, like, preferred pronouns and everything... I really have a preferred order of pronouns, and in general, it's just like, whatever... So, 
yeah, I'm actually looking forward to having my skin issues cleared up so I can show off my feminine looks again because, I mean, yeah, masculine dress is a lot more physically comfortable and everything, but, I mean, I, I've got some nice clothes and stuff and I just haven't worn them and... My wigs and just all this style that I spent years curating and uh, as my channel has grown over the past year like nobody's seen any of the hat nobody's seen any of my fun creative fashion because I'm just all bumpy itchy scabby bleeding and bleh, grossness in my opinion of course of course there's plenty of people who are just like not gonna care that you know i've got these skid issues but for me it's hard to feel like i look worthwhile presenting that 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 phrasing wasn't good it's just like, if I look like shit, what's the point of even being like face cam YouTuber? If I look like shit, no one's going to want to see that. But if I don't look as much like shit, I won't feel, I don't know, it's like low grade. I don't know. I'm still waiting on my goddamn Adderall. I know it came in yesterday, but uh, order Chinese food near my store where the pharmacy is. My grandma picked up the Chinese, but not the medication. The whole family got that CRS. We can't remember shit. I can't think. I I I need I need my Adderall. I need caffeine. I need brain juice. I need nicotine. I need I need anything that can turn my brain on before I just fall back asleep. <laughs>